Hi friends, I'm back again with another video. Uh, today I am doing a red lip that has been requested on my blog. Starting off with um, the first step, just take a lip balm, any lip balm that you have, mine's but Bees, and the first important step to getting a good lip done is to use the balm. Moving on, I'm going to change my eye colour using the Sleek Original Palette. This one. And just whacking it on and changing the colour. Putting it on. I'm going to pull it a little higher, just like out. And that's my eye and I'm going to use a fluffy brush, MAC 217, and just blend it. Oh no, this is the wrong brush! Um, that's the brush I use for my concealer. <laughs> I'm sad now. This is my proper 217 for doing my eyeshadows. The other one I use to put concealer. Just getting the lines kind of more hazy, not so harsh. A Real Techniques um, shading brush, I think it's called. Shading brush. Um, I'm gonna use the same color and then take it down the bottom of my eye, just halfway across, cause I have very small eyes and it's not nice to close it all up. If you have big eyes, you're welcome to go all the way in. Those are my eyes done. I'm gonna do my liner now and I'm using the Dolly Wink eyeliner, liquid eyeliner just, I've already gotten a little bit done as you can see just to get my falsies on just now but now I'm gonna actually wing them up just highlighting first Thickening it up, slight wing. And join it up. done on both sides so now I'm gonna just very lightly line my bottom eye line with a pencil um, eyeliner also using the shader brush again to smudge it a little make it look more hazy I'm gonna be contouring using my benefit oh my god <laughs> my benefit who loves it which just which just fell out of the cover Okay, this one and it's obviously finishing as you can tell and just defining my cheekbones a little bring it up a little to the temple as well in a slight C shape just to warm up the sides of your face as well I'm gonna be doing my nose as well. So taking um, a pointed foundation brush by Real Techniques, I'm gonna just take a little bit on the side and the tip and then just highlight, um, contour my nose. I don't think like it's very necessary. But if you're taking photos, this is, I mean this step, but if you're taking photos, it's quite um, helpful, I guess. Because when you put foundation over your entire face, it kind of, where you had natural um, like shadows and stuff, shadows and contours and stuff, that flat 
color of the foundation takes out everything. It's like the landscape just became flat of all of a sudden. So get like shadows and highlighting things to re-put in the contours where you have lost them. It's my opinion anyway. Yeah. For my cheeks, I'll be using e.l.f. Um, Lush and it's called Fuchsia Fusion. It's really sparkly. The Weaver Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. It's a 127. It is amazing. I love it. It's so soft. So be careful when you're taking um, powders. You just have to tap off a little on your wrist because you never know how pigmented it is and you don't want to risk putting on um, one and her blob and it's very difficult to get the lines out after. It's always best to just build up. I'm just taking this a little on my cheek, not going up too high, just kind of in a horizontal manner. And I'm gonna be moving on to highlighting now. I'm using this MUA Makeup Academy Mosaic Blush. It is really, really mosaic -y, but I only use one. I only use the highlighter one. And uh, it's this pinkish shade that I, I find works for my face. So I just put it at the top of my cheeks and bring it into my eye well bone area. Whack it on, whack it to get the shine. And then a little bit on my nose. Down here. Cupid's bow, chin. Okay, and then your face is now 3D again. Now with everything done, we can finally move on to the lips. And what is necessary when doing um, a red lip is actually not just your red lipstick. It is your red lip liner. And that is really important because I think red lipstick it tends to bleed out of the lips. The, the, the sides of your lips, the line, the lip line. So it's always better to use a lip liner because obviously a lip liner is made up of different um, a different material, no, uh, ingredients or whatever staying power it has. It has more than a lipstick. And a lipstick usually it's um, not as drying and it's more moist. So it doesn't exactly um, stay within the lip especially if you're moving about a lot and then like drinking and eating and all that kind of stuff so what you should do is get a red lip liner and I have a couple of red lip liners here um, this one is by Etude House and it's a soft touch auto lip liner and this is by MAC it's cherry MAC lipsticks tend to be a little drying for me but because I always put on a lip balm it seems to be it, it seems to work okay. Let's go with the darker lip maybe. Okay, let's do let's do the Etude House one. So first step, you line your lips. And yeah, just follow the line and go. It's always helpful to stretch out your lips a little, smile, because um it helps you get into the lip lines that won't be stretched out if your mouth is just pouting. It should be stretched. I always just do this. And so whichever it's at the top will transfer to the bottom and whatever's at the top bottom will transfer to the top. It won't go out of line but um it's just easier for me to fill it in. So I'm gonna fill in the entire thing now. I will be using Russian Red today, I think. Russian Red is from the matte range of MAC and it is one of their cult favourites. Let me swatch it for you. Russian Red is just kind of neutral red, so here goes.
that my first coat and usually what I do is I get a tissue paper and I blot 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 okay I've actually gone a little bit too over and then I've gone over my natural lip line too much so I'm just taking a bit off I'm cleaning the line up back in with my lip liner to clean up around your mouth just take a flat shader brush concealer brush and then use some concealer onto it and then just clean up the finished look I hope you like it um, I don't really like to put on glasses so if you are like someone who really loves your glasses go on here I don't really think there's a there's, there's a sure way to do a perfect red lip or whatever because it kind of depends on your mood like for me sometimes I like to do ombre lip like with the dark, the sides a little darker and then moving into a lighter shade and a the, in the center and then like putting a bit of glitter in the center um, and then sometimes I just do a bit of tint and then I am done but yeah it's really up to you so I hope this has been useful and thank you for watching and um, as usual if you have any questions you can always email me and, uh, or leave a message um, to me through Facebook or on the YouTube channel just comment and Remember to give me a like if you like it. Thank you. Bye.